Welcome back guys to another video. In this video we're going to be breaking down the plank and we're actually going to give you 15 different variations. So the plank, the plank sorry, is a brilliant exercise. You got it. The plank is a brilliant exercise to teach the function of the core. So the function of the core is to stabilize the spine while we are moving. Okay, so we're going to get straight into it. So we're going to go through all 15. So the action of the core is to move. So is it to flex the spine or laterally bend the spine? And the function of the core is to prevent any of that. So we're going to try and stay as static as we can. So we're going to utilize our brace from our other video in all of these exercises. Okay, so Franny's going to be the dummy the again. The usual dummy. The usual dummy. And we're going to take her onto the floor to the first uh, variation of the plank, which is the high plank. <clears throat> Oh, it's a bit hard, this floor. Oh, well, that's it. Toughen up, eh? Toughen up, that's what the dummies get. <laughs> and, okay, so this is the high plank. So notice how she has a nice neutral spine. She pushes up into a hip, into the top of her back. She'll be using her serratus. And we're gonna try and keep the core as braced as possible. So imagine I'm gonna come along and just punch her. She wants to try and resist that punch. Okay, so this is the high plank. The next one is high plank with a leg lift. Okay. So same again. Same so position. from here, we're just going to take one leg off. So now she has to try and resist the rotation. So this is just one step harder. Okay. And the next ER, so same again, back into your high plank, what are you doing? Okay, so the next are shoulder taps. So again, she's got to resist the rotation, but she's going to tap the opposite shoulder with the opposite hand. So we're going to try and get minimal movement here. So she's just going to be trying again to resist the rotation and obviously the extension. Perfect. From here, the next one is the rotating plank. Quite a workout, isn't it? Oh, I know. This is why, this is why he, he's making me the dummy, so he doesn't have to do it. Oh! Right, here we go. <laughs> right. Okay, so rotating plank. Just FYI, if these exercises are done properly, they should really hurt. Yeah. So, if you think you can hold a plank for five minutes, chances are you're probably not doing it right. Yeah, you're probably not doing it correctly. <laughs> so, with the rotating plank, make sure you have a decent base of here, so quite wide. And then from here, you're gonna come up onto one arm, rotate to the ceiling, perfect. Okay, just one more for the people. For the people or for love it, just for me. Okay, that's perfect. Now we're gonna go down onto our elbows, and this is going to go into the regular plank. So this is just a standard plank, as you would know it. So from here, notice how she has a flat back, so go into an arch for me. That was the way. A lot of people hang here on their spine. So the people can hang here for a long time, but you put a lot of undue pressure onto your spine. So from here, you want to tuck your pelvis under and keep that nice neutral spine here. And this way, you're again going to be in that coat cam position, which will allow you to use your core in a correct way. That's perfect. Okay. Now we're going to stay onto our elbows, but we're going to go into a stretched plank. So there's two variations of this one. Start on the elbows to start. The easiest way to go into the stretch plank is to just be in your normal plank position. Yeah, and then just walk yourself back. So see how now she has stretched herself out. So now the distance from here to here is a lot longer. So this is going to put more pressure and it's going to be a lot tougher to hold. Okay, so that's one variation. And then the second variation, the harder variation, is going to be on the actual hands. So it's going to be even longer. So we maybe keep walking. Perfect, okay, so holding this position is very tough. That's perfect, love it. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> I'm really screwed out of this. Oh, okay, man. and the next one is a max effort plank. So again, this is gonna be the normal plank, but from here, you're gonna be trying to pull your elbows and your feet together. This is gonna really contract your core, and this is gonna put a lot of tension through your abs, and you're only gonna be able to hold this one for max 10, 20 seconds. So you wanna be pulling as hard as you can. So just go into position, let me show. So from here, you can imagine you're pulling your elbows and your feet together, and this is going to create lots and lots of tension in the core. Nicely done. Okay, back in, oh. back down. Okay, so now we have the normal plank, but we have it with hip dips. So we're adding a slight bit of rotation in, so now you're going to start using the side of your abs, your obliques. That's it, it's a drop, yep. Nice. Very good, just one more. Perfect, okay, very good, very good. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the next variation, which is a walking body saw. So we're gonna be in the plank position, just gonna walk our feet back, 
and walk them back in. So it's gonna come from a normal plank to a stretched plank to a normal plank and so on for however many reps you're gonna do. So from here, you're gonna again keep that neutral position, it gets harder and harder, come back in. Now get a little bit easier, same again, back out. Good, come back in. So you're really just going from a normal to a stretch and this is gonna add more pressure to the core. Okay, now we're gonna use a slider. We don't have a slider, so we're going to use a towel. So we're gonna do the same thing that she just did with the walking body saw, just with a towel, so she'll slide her feet out. You know, you could just do all 15 of these within seconds. And you yeah, this is a great workout. <laughs> this is fun. Okay. Here we go. So she's going to push back and she's going to drag herself back in. Nice. And you're going against the grain on the wood. So this is even harder, which is fabulous for me. <laughs> Good work, Franny. Uh, after this video, I'm going to make him do it all <laughs> for much longer. Okay. Now we're gonna go, so now we've just been working the, for the more of the front of our abs. Now we're gonna try and work in the side a bit more, so the obliques. So now we're gonna come on to a modified side plank. So if you find a regular side plank tough, then you can do the modified version, which is gonna be on your knees, as friend will show you. So bend your knees up here. And the important thing with here, you wanna make sure that you are in one line. So your knees, your hips, and your shoulders create one line here. Okay, so this is perfect. This is the modified side plank. Now we're going to go into a regular side plank. Yep. Perfect. So see how she has got her top foot stacked in front? This just makes her pelvis stay completely parallel, so it's in line. If she had the top foot in front, then people have a tendency to bring their pelvis back. So by doing this, having the top, front in, the top foot in front, then you're going to be in nice in line and you're going to be using the adductor, the inside of this top thigh and then when obviously you do the other side, you'll get the other side as well. Okay, and then same position, we're going to go into side plank rotations. So this one is very tough. So we're going to come up. Now from here, you're going to reach the arm around. We want to try and turn these hips, turn the hips, turn the hips, nice, and then come back around. Very good. So this is going to be a lot of strain here on the serratus muscles, all down the obliques. This is a very good exercise. Good, so if you have, this is also very good for your shoulder. And we have to bring in the push for this one. Oh yes. Great. Okay. If you've got one, just this size. Okay. So if you have one, then use it. So if, if obviously in the gym, then just use the bench. So this is gonna be a Copenhagen plank, or this is gonna be a short lever Copenhagen plank. So the knee is gonna go on top of the bench, and you're gonna be, come up into a side plank position. And the bottom knee, I like to bring the bottom knee up like this, so again, it keeps the pelvis in the correct position, but you're gonna feel a lot of stress on the inside of the thigh, and then obviously the side of the obliques here. Good stuff. Perfect. And now we're gonna go into the last one, which is the long lever Copenhagen plank. So now she is resting onto her foot and her ankle, so there's gonna be a lot more pressure here on the adductors, the inside of the thigh. And then just come up again, one straight line. Perfect. So now she has one straight line, she's gonna feel a lot of tension, inside of the thigh, and then again in the side of the abs. And that is 15 variations to utilize the function of your core. Whew. Cheers guys.